Is everybody else in it? Okay. So I, I borrowed from, from Stephen Curtis. He told me that I could borrow it. I live right up at Studio 6. C-U-R-T-I-S? Yes. What's his first name? Stephen. S-T-E-V-E-N? P-H-E-N? So. It, it's S-T-E-V-E-N. Stephen okay. Curtis. Stephen Curtis Turner is his full name. Stephen Curtis Turner. Okay. Yes. I call him Curtis. Okay. I Keep swear on. I did not steal this vehicle. How long has Stephen had it? Um, he picked me up today. Um, I have you friend. seen him in it before? Yes. How well, how long have you, have you since have the first time you've seen him in it? Uh, well, the first time I seen him in it, I'd say it was about a month and a half ago. Okay. Um, okay. Do you know how he got it? No, I, he bought it. Do you know that or do you think just assuming it? I, I'm assuming it. He's never lied to me before. Okay. Ever. He lives over at Balboa Apartments on 51st and U. I had to move some stuff because I'm moving. Mm -hmm. And he said that I could, you know, if it's, it's stolen, I mean, you take it back and whatever. But I even have a witness that saw him pick me up in it today. Okay. So, I mean, I haven't done anything to the vehicle. Um, honest to God. Okay. I mean, I've worked with the police. Uh, you know? Okay. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll try to get to the bottom does, of it. If he did steal it, I'm going to have to go to jail and pay the price for it. Well, you'll... You're in a stolen vehicle. If he did steal it, you're in a stolen vehicle, which is a problem. But if you didn't steal it, then that'll come out in court. No, you don't understand. What don't I understand? The reason why I work with the police, yeah. like over on 11th and Garnett and the uh, counterfeiting. Yeah. I work with the with them on it because I, if, if I go back to jail again, then that means prison four years. So, yeah. I mean... Okay, I have listen. To up the road and so, I gotta steal this car. Calm down. If if we can find out that Steven stole it, then and you you in it without knowing it, then it'll come out in court. I, you don't understand. I can't afford a lawyer. My numbers are on that. I don't. Please, I didn't steal it. <clears throat> I didn't. I swear on my life, I didn't steal it. Can I please? If we talk to Steven, would he admit that if, you, if he stole it, do you think he'd admit it? Do you think he'd tell I, us? And take, I have no idea. Can I talk to the people what that people? own it? I don't know who the people that own it are right now. Well, apparently it's not him. That, apparently, right. But I don't know who they are. That officer's looking for that information right now. Can I, can I see my phone so I can call my witness? Not right now. Okay, that's fine. How long have you known Steven? I've known him since the beginning of the summer, on and off. For, for when? Since when? The beginning of the summer. Okay, so um, almost a year now. Almost, yes. Okay. Um, how do you know him? Well, I know him from when I first got released from county. I came to um, this guy Mark's house, and he lived there. He lived with. How'd you know Mark? I didn't know Mark. I knew Joey, which now lives in California, and he brought me to the house. Okay, so you met him through an, another acquaintance, say, or a friend? Yeah. Okay. What does he do? Uh, does he have a job? He said that he works for his uncle somewhere. He's gay and he talks like really loud because he can barely hear. And I honestly, I let it go in one ear and out the other. Honestly, what? I let it go in one ear and out the other. Well, uh, his job? What he says to me. Because it, he's rather annoying. Hmm? Asked him to borrow his car, apparently, so... Well, because I had to move some stuff, and I didn't want... He's annoying. I didn't want... Hey, 19 to 136, y'all get out there. I cannot believe this, please. Can yeah. I work with you? 
<laughs> well, like I said, I know where drugs if, are going on right if now. If it's Stephen Kurt, well, that's where what you're working with us on the other stuff, man. right? No. Are you saying you're a CI for the for somebody over 11th hey, and Garnett? Is that what uh, you're telling me? I told him things. I mean, I, I don't know if that's the correct term. Um, are you have you been are you in regular yeah. contact with somebody a detective or are you just talking about you've talked to patrol officers before about stuff? No, it wasn't patrol officers. Okay, so it was some some somebody some detective or something. It was the one in charge. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're called. In charge sir. of what? Over um the shoot it was the uh, police station hey, over off of Garnet or no 11th. Yeah, that's Mingo Valley. Okay, Mingo Valley. The sergeant or whatever. It's lots of sergeants. Lots and lots of sergeants. I'm trying to do the best that I okay, can. Okay, that's fine. Okay? That's fine. We'll, we'll I, figure I it out. About uh, where you can get paper tags for cars that you're stol that are stolen. Someone someone hey, given got a stack of them or making them in the in the at their house. I know all about that stuff. Yeah. And I be more than happy. How do you know about that stuff? On it. How do you know about that stuff? Including Steven? Is he part of it? Um, not of that, but of counterfeiting. Oh, yeah. yeah counterfeiting? Yeah. I don't know. I don't always like to give it away right away. Yeah. I don't look at check. What was that you were looking at? What was that roll? I don't know. What is that? What was that big white roll in there? Yeah, it is. She's my, moving her stuff. I, I was moving my stuff. That's why I borrowed this car. Who's the... Was there paperwork in the car for it? I saw it. I saw it. Not right now. Because we'd have to uncuff you and we're not going to uncuff you right now. What's up with all the cell phones? It's quite a collection. They're mine. Uh, my, self, my original cell phone got stolen. Those are ones that I have bought. Like they're uh, pay as you go phones. Okay. Things like that. I could talk to the owners. I mean, I, and like I said, I know where to get the paper What would you tags. say to the owners, just out of curiosity? Uh, what would I say to the owners? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that this car was stolen. Okay. I asked for permission to borrow it. He told me that it was his car. Okay. I mean, I'm not into the stolen car thing. If I was, I would be trying to down a left. Twenty-seven things memorial. Hmm. Okay. Getting chilly. I need my jacket out. I would like to take all my stuff all right, right now. out of the car and just call somebody to pick me up. And I am sorry. <coughs> all right. So here's the deal. Who's Steven to you? Steven, well, he used to be a friend, but obviously I'm rethinking the whole friendship thing. All right. Well, Steven took the vehicle without permission, okay? It was reported as stolen, okay? So you're in possession of it. I didn't know. Not to mention your driving status is flagged. So you're not even supposed to be driving, so you're going to jail. Please, is there anything I can do? I work with them, please. I worked with them on um, 11th and Garnett with uh, murders and the whole prostitution thing. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Secret Service with the counterfeiting. Please, I told this officer where you can get paper tags and all that stuff. I will work with you guys. You know what? I didn't know, you know what? it was stolen. <laughs> Like I said, it was a sergeant I was talking to. Oh, it was She's a, talking about she talked to a sergeant man. in the. Um, All right, well, have a seat in my car. Please. It's a bad day to borrow a car. <laughs> oh, so, is that a UUMV? Was Steven listed as the suspect on the UMV? Yeah. 
She said she didn't give it to it, give him to us. Yeah. She said she knows him. She borrowed the car from him. He's listed as a suspect. We could take her for what? No DL. This ain't gonna stick since he's the listed and she borrowed it from him, That's saying she doesn't know. But if she can have him meet her, and or, or give us tell us where he's at, we can go get him. Cause he, and and also it's it's an easy sell. He's got to be paid. She, she's pulled over and all this. Stuff. I think she's willing. I think she's willing to do what she needs well, to do. See, do you have anything better on her other than the? You, you gotta read the traffic. report. Report says the mom. I guess found her keys. It was it was yesterday's date, so yeah. Thursday. You know, just not very long ago. So I think it was around three. Said that found her keys were missing. She found out that son took the car, and then when she stopped to son, he said that she stole the car from him without permission. Oh, he said she she's yeah. involved. You want to read the report? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have to. But I didn't know I mean, she I was gotta, involved. I mean, that way, I didn't know she was on the report. I thought he took it, and which would sync with her story. Pull but. up the narrative on there and read it and see what you think. No, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Please, can you, please, just let me and my stone just out here. I will call a friend to come and pick me up, and I will show you where Stephen lives. If he took the car without permission, right? Right? Please, sir. Please. Can you please, can you please look at me and talk to me, please? Excuse me, sir, sir. What? Is there any George way that you Robert can sit down and talk you. with me? I'm just, willing to let you guys know where there is a massive amount of fucking stolen vehicles, the dealerships to where they go and get them, the dealership keys, the paper tags. We can talk into the owner of the vehicle. Do you know who the owner of the vehicle You keep bringing that up. Do you know who the owner of the vehicle is? No, but I'm sure the reason why you said this. Took that car without permission. Okay. I didn't know it. He How do you? Why would you assume they'd be? Re, why would? Why would you assume they wouldn't think you were the one that took it? Because he had said that Stephen took the car earlier without permission. Yes, but there's no reason for you to believe that the owner of the vehicle would assume that you aren't the person that took it, and Stephen is. Unless you know something about it already. I just know my. She said she said she's moving. It looks like. So it looks like So what are your thoughts after reading that report? <sighs> so the mom said Stephen took it from her. Mm -hmm. And he said she took it from him. Right. The mom's the only one that has a claim that has the, the ability to claim it was stolen from her. He doesn't, because it's not, it wasn't his to begin with. Right. Uh, she definitely probably took it from Steven. Right. I, I think that's possible, but the officer was never able to talk to him. That was secondhand information. It'd be tough to get this in a court to get this to stick on her. Because Steven, I would assume that Steven was just trying to hide it from mom by saying, oh, this girl took it. Probably. Because it's also possible that Steven loaned it to her and said, yeah, just use it as long as you want because That's, he knows it's mom's and he just wants it out of his hand so that way he has plausible deniability so that he can claim, oh, well, she took it from me. I don't know where it is. Sorry, guys. That kind of bull crap they always pull on us. We need to do both of them. We could tell her to give us Steven and then take them both. I wonder if Steven's down at Studio 6 where she was heading. She says he lives at... She says she stays at Studio 6 and he's... He stays somewhere else. She showed me an apartment complex. I can't remember where she told me. She gave me a call, a, a, another address for Stephen. I think based off the report, she's definitely... We could rush her right now for possession of it. I don't know if it would stick. It might. I mean, it'd be tougher. It'd be tougher since mom said Stephen took it. Right. And Stephen doesn't have the ability to say that... To claim that it was stolen from him since it wasn't get, his. I tried twice and I can't get her to answer the phone. And, oh, the mom? Yeah. And. Should mm. I have an officer go by there? Try to knuckle the door and see if they can get a hold of her? It wouldn't hurt. Who, the mom? Yeah. It wouldn't hurt. 
but I mean, what would be the what would be the best outcome? What would you, what that? What's the outcome you're wanting out of that? Because what is she gonna do? She she can come get it, which is great. We can let her come get her car. As far as this goes, what is she gonna say? I don't want to press charges anymore now that I got my car back. Which which if that's what she, if that's if getting the car back to her is all you really. You know that's a good thing to do. So if that's all we really I mean, care about, at this then, point, I mean, no, I mean, the thing, well, the thing about it is whether or not. But if she's gonna do that, she's gonna do that, and these charges are gonna fall apart anyway. So maybe it is better to get that out of the way now, <laughs> so that we can just you can just write a recovery. Said mom no longer wanted to press charges, and you know, at a minimum right now, I got her for driving under suspension. Yeah. So she can yeah. go either way. Oh, she yeah. I mean, you're good with her, and you're good with the, with the possession as of right now. No problem. Yeah. You definitely got her. I was just. I didn't realize she went on the original report, and I thought it was just Steven on the original report, in which case I'd much rather have him in hand than her. Sure. It's one of those random things that I got behind it, and I was looking at the tag, and I'm like, what is that expiration? But as it is now, based off the report that was written, if he can prove she took it from him, I guess that would defeat the, the uh, necessity to have him intentionally keeping the property from his mother if he couldn't give it back. You can't say he's not allowing her to have her property back. So he has a defense against the UUMV, or the, yeah, UUMV. She doesn't have a defense against having it right now, I guess, so, unless, at least not right now. She could she could claim she never knew it was stolen, but it's, it's kind of muddied. Yeah, well. So it depends on how, if we find him, it's gonna muddy it up more. If we find mom, it's gonna muddy it up more. Or you could just take the simple stuff you have right now. It's up to you. You can take her for that, and we could work on find someone to still go to mom's house and say we got it. She's in jail. You can you guys can figure it all out later. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch of stuff to take into the division. <laughs> well, well, no, 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 you don't. we can't, we can't, we can't verify whose stuff this is. Yeah. Okay. And it's none of it. If we can't, ca if we can't get a hold of mom, we tow the car with everything it is, assuming that anything in it is possibly hers. Yeah, that's true. So we just tow it as is. Mark on a tow sheet full of full of miscellaneous clothing and household items, uh, possibly the victims. And if she, the vic if she gets her car back and it's not hers, well, she can call us and do with it or do with it what she wants. Okay. That'll work. I'm assuming the person. Because we we, we are under no obligation to assume that her, she's telling the truth about any property in here being hers, unless it's got her name on it. David 136. That's the key to the vehicle. And I'm going to assume this is at least her purse. Well, I could be wrong. I don't know. Does it have, any, it in there? Does it have any ID in it? I mean, if it has an ID in it, then you could call it There's hers. There's a little but. tablet and some phones in that purse, too. I just leave everything in it. She can't say whose property it is, we just leave everything in it. <coughs> so we've called mom. Do you want someone to go by or you just want one of us to tow it? Sure. I'd say maybe try to give him Steven a call if she'll give you a number. But the other officer whoever took the original couldn't get a hold of him. I don't, I don't suppose we're going to be able to either, and I don't feel like spending the rest of my shift trying, because I think this is all going to be a bunch of BS anyway. I think that's probably the best bet. Is this all going to, they'll figure it out. That's not going to be great. Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to steal your car.
Where'd she go? Is that her right there? There she is. Come here now! Get on the ground! Put your hands over your head. Put your hands over your head. Will somebody unhook her head so we can put them back behind her back? Oh, please. You go back inside. She's fine. She's fine. And bind your back. Let's go. It's in the skull. Now we do got on a stolen vehicle for sure. <laughs> Alright, stand up. Anybody got a cage? She's wiry. Where's this? <laughs> Apparently so. His car is right there. I told you guys I didn't steal that car. You, stole, you, just, stole you just stole a police car. No, I'm going to jail for You just stole a police car in front of three police officers. <laughs> And he looted. Ow, ow. I've seen some stupid stuff, but my gosh. And you hit a car with it? You guys told me that I was going to jail for something that I did not do. You just stole a police car. Now I'm going to jail for something I did. Well, there we go. <laughs> Silver linings. Is there any damage? I haven't seen any, no. Corporal. It's an easy one. It's. Ow. Everyone must bend. It's a smudge, but someone's going to have to do it anyway. Who was it that got off the highway like right behind her? That's me. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we heard it. I was on a traffic stop. I've never seen so many cars converge on one thing so fast. Cause I was right. I ran back to my car, got in, and you guys somehow still managed to get in front of me. I never had my eyes off her. The next thing I know, there's three cars between me and her. It's like, how did that happen? Um, does anybody here have a cage? Did anybody here? Did you bring LeBlanc? Cause he's still staying in there. <laughs> Hey, what's hey, Milk, uh, the you want to go stick. pick up LeBlanc? <laughs> He's still at the, <laughs> the village He's still at the village inn. <laughs> His car is right here. Can, um... <laughs> His car's here. It's the one that got stolen. She didn't bother to give him a ride. I'm sorry is that yours? for hitting your car. Where's his, where's his apartment? You want to go knock on his apartment? That's fine. My guy is right over there. Eighty-one. 81 and 81 East 41st is the address for this complex. I don't give a shit. God, you are hateful. You just stole a police car uh, and drove yeah, like shit. Yeah, I'm going to jail because uh, I stole a car. You all were going to arrest me for stealing the black car. What you could have got out of that charge if you didn't steal car. it. But then you stole a car I in front of us. I was willing to give up fucking drugs, everybody. The heads of all the mobs and the, the heads gays of the mobs. You got that? and all that fucking shit. But you guys, you need to learn the yeah, hey, hey, you know what? Our bad. Our bad. You stole a police. You know what? Don't patronize she goes, she goes, me. Our bad. Don't. Take some fucking accountability for your actions. I do take accountability for my actions. Did you actions. steal a police car? You know what? Did you? Give me an attorney. Answer the question. Give me an attorney. We that? saw you do it. No, you didn't see me do it. I did. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> and the young car came. <laughs> you got a picture. That, 
Well, it's yeah, actually yeah, my camera. camera. There's, a, there's a camera in there. So, well, yeah. give it to me. I will audit It was it. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to jail, if I'm getting in trouble for yes. something, then I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to go to jail for something that I did. Might as well go balls to the wall, right? Well, no, you know what? because... All right. If I'm going to go to jail, I might I as well do something. Did somebody did come all over the cage? I don't know. She so, asked. She dis I heard dispatch asked. I did her ask. Business. I didn't hear. And I asked him to call the owner. Please. For the cars? I didn't see We did. Him. We yeah, should we answer. No answer? She's coming. Okay. We'll let the corporal decide what he wants to do. We're getting the owner for this car to see if what they want us to do about it. Coming? Yeah. <laughs> it's like no damage. Do you think we should do it anyway? Yeah. I have to do the cover sheet on it. Well, it wasn't an officer involved. It was not, but it was city property. <laughs> it's true. City property, but. We don't work Jesus, I don't know. I don't know if that one's in policy. If someone steals a police car, <laughs> <laughs> and breaks it. Does anybody need to go back to the original shop? The block should still be standing there. <laughs> okay, I guess I could go I get him and bring him. Melchior, I just yelled at Melchior's going back. I think. He, I yelled at him when he was walking up, and he turned around. So I'm assuming he's headed back over there. I know you hate me right now. We have. But is there any way? I don't hate you. This is hilarious. Is yeah, yeah. The best thing that happened to me in a while. Listen, my well, phone is in the car. We're not going. I'm not the, giving you anything out of that stuck. car. I just. I'm want, not going to assume yeah, anything I in need, that car is yours and not stolen. You were crying up a storm. I and need then those the numbers on the phone. If they're not in your head, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to assume anything in that car is yours and not stolen. You'll be able to use your phone. All I'm going to say there. There was no ID in any one of the four purses in there. Because I was. There's 18 there. cell phones in there. There's I'm not, not going to assume 18. any of them are there yours. Was not 18. Uh, okay, I apologize. I'm exaggerating. There was like five or six at least in the front seat. So I'm not going to assume anything in that car is yours. Let me do you a favor and go all the way money, back right? to the place where you stole Your our car. Wants money, right? I don't work for county, so I don't care Whatever if the county the wants state. money. <laughs> hey, wants money. we can turn his camera off so we can review the video? His car camera? We don't get state money. Uh, Whatever. LeBron? Whoever gets the money, okay? Yeah. Good. Be... You guys got to get paid somehow, right? We get, we get paid you know what? I can do that. It it I look cute it's on. When you do it, it, looks hey, it was on because he made a car stop. This is the car stop that made the that he stopped with. So it's been on. What was what was the plan? Was the, did you think he was going to get inside before we got you? Well, fuck. We went and locked this entire man. place down until we found you? Are those hypothetical questions, or do you really want me to answer? You don't have to answer, I guess. I'm just oh, curious. So they're hypothetical. Okay. That's all you have to say. I don't think you understand what hypothetical means. This yes, is literally a situation that happened, so it's not hypothetical. No, I'm talking about your questions. Rhetorical? I think it's rhetorical is the word you're looking for. <laughs> Rhetorical is a question asked that doesn't need an answer. Hypothetical is a question asked about some event that didn't really happen. Thank you for the English lesson. You're welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. And stealing is yeah, what you did. Borrowed. Borrowed. That was McKenzie. Fucking sergeant already knows. I guess Randy's listening to the radio. His brother, he's like, you need to call butter now. He's that's a. <laughs> He's not gonna live this down for the rest of the year. That's for sure. He said. Well, he said. He may well, have is he all pissed off. Like, I don't know. Everybody fucking left. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's hitchhiking. Out, he's he's hitchhiking down the, Memorial right now. He's hanging out in the lobby of the village. You're not going to get a cup of coffee or something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could have got shot pretty easily. Oh. Oh, you almost oh, ran my foot over. My gun. Oh, 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 oh. All right. I think this is your ride. So you got a cage. Uh, this will be tougher to steal. This is one of our updated hard to steal models.
<laughs> if she can get out there. Woo. Not even <laughs> mad. <laughs> Not even mad. I'm impressed. She slipped her cuffs to the front and then so we look up and she's like standing up and saying what is she doing and she just like hopped over the center Right down into the seat. I like a freaking cat burglar man. I was like what? It was like she's still in the car Were you ever in pursuit? We're not trying to get behind